All praise, power, glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the apostles slash elders of Great Millstone. And shout out to salutations to the brothers in the four quarters, Papa, not the truth, but sincerity, long suffering, long Okay. All right, we're going to do a, a, a special a walk and talk. And then also it's a... a it's been about almost about a year since me and this brother right here met just at this spot all right and teaching him at his house we met this brother right here through the spirit of Yahweh Ba Shami Yahweh Shai and we're still strong still to this day all right until the time comes now what's the subject uh, today we're gonna get on uh, judgment that Israel can judge where uh, Israel can judge one another uh, to know judgment of the world. Come. This is uh, Psalms 149. God by voice. This is Psalms 149, 6 through 9. It says, let the high, let the high praises of Yahweh be in their mouth and uh, two edged sword in their hand to ex execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people to blind their kings with chains and their nobles with festers of iron, fetters of iron, to execute upon them the judgment written. This honor have all his saints praise ye the Lord. Go ahead, explain that. Oh, okay, so um, it's basically, it's basically saying that we're gonna execute judgment on the ones that, that don't uh, listen to the Most High. It's already written. The judgment that's gonna be set, that was set back then, is gonna be set now. So if the Most High got in store for you, that your judgment is death, that's what's gonna come upon you. If you, if the Most High's gonna um, have that compassion on you, then he will have that compassion on you. Okay. Uh, yeah, you know. This is, what was it, six, right? It's 1 Corinthians 6, right? Yes. 6 and what again? 6, 1 and 2. 1 and 2, okay. This is 1 Corinthians 6, 1 and 2. Dare any of you having a, a matter against another, go to go to go to law before the unjust and not before the saints. Do ye do ye not know that the saints shall judge the world? And if the world shall be judged, by you, are you unworthy to judge the smaller, ma the smallest matters? Right, and the saints are the Israelites. So it's up to us to know judgment in the world and to execute the most high judgment. Okay. Um, go to uh, First Chronicles 23. Because they, uh, you know, they stole our identity away. With the, um, the judges is was also represents the um, when you look it up also represents the uh, saviors. It says saviors, deliverers, because they delivered uh, their people, the Israelites, out of uh, destruction. Uh, twenty three, uh, twenty four, and twenty eight. Okay. There were also you know the who you would call your policemen today, your gatekeepers. They was musicians. All those were uh, also you know they took all those identities away from them. Huh. First Chronicles 23. All that, all that knowledge came from spirits, man. Verse 24. <laughs> chapter 23, verse 24. Okay. This is First Chronicles 23 and 24. <clears throat> These were the sons of Levi after the house of their fathers, even the chief of the fathers, as they were counted by number of the names by their paws. That that did the work for the service of the houses of the Lord from the age of 20, 20 years and upward. All right, so that's when, you know, that's that's when you start doing this work, you know, 20 and up. That's really when everybody started, the Levites started doing the work. Some was priests, some were uh, gatekeepers, some was judges. Keep going. It says, for David, for David said, the Lord, Yahweh of Israel have given rest unto his people, that they may, uh, that they may rest, that they, it's like it, that they may dwell in Jerusalem forever. And also unto the Levites, they shall no more carry the tabernacle 
nor vessels of the the vessels of it for the service thereof. For for by the last word of David, the Levites were numbered from 20 years old and above because their office was to, to wait on the sons of Aaron for the service of the house of the Lord in the courts in the courts and in the in the chambers and in the purifying of all holy things and the works of the service of the house of Yahweh. Right, so they was the chambers, you know they so that's they set up the prisons and stuff like that. Kind. All of those that was, was the work of the Levites. Kind. That was those was that was they time. They was the police, they was the uh That's you your know, correctional officer, kind. man. Huh, that's so, that's your, uh, uh, those are your DAs, man. Right, those are lawyers. Those are your lawyers, the man. The law. They the ones that have the law. They the ones that with the law or the most high. Con. So they were the lawyers, they were the police officers of Con. today and all those type of things. Because they knew the law right. of the most high and they kept the law, all right? You got and that's going to come in the new kingdom too. You're still going to have the law. Go to uh, Job 9 and 24. And the so-called white man, you know, they, they washed all those memories away from us. Con. And 24, it says, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, if not, where, if not, where and who is he? Right, it says, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. He covered up the faces of the judges thereof. Uh -huh. In all your movies, you know, all, everybody, all the movie roles is played by so-called white men. You know, they're covering up the judges in the and all of our stuff, and all the history. Uh -huh. Make them fair to them. Make them seem like they was a part of their, uh, that they, that they the truth and everything. Right, that's White what, man tried to take control right. over everybody, and that's even what, the Egyptians. Uh, and that's what me and uh, Steve was talking about too, man. Talking about, and even he said it, man, like, how, them white people, they, they wouldn't have been able to last over there in Egypt, man. Hell no. They would have died. They would have died, it's too hot. So if, they were the real Jews, man. Uh, that, 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 that wouldn't make any sense, man. God, skin cancer. Exactly. Let me read this. This is uh, Judges 2 and, 2 and 1. It says, And the angel of the Lord came up from Galil to Bochim and said, I made you to go up out of Egypt and have brought you unto the land which I swore unto your fathers. And I said, I will never break my covenant with you, and ye shall make no league with the inhabitants of this land. Ye shall throw down their altars, but ye have not obeyed my voice. Why have ye done this? Wherefore, I said, I will not drive them out from before you, but they shall be a thorn in your side, and their God shall be a snare unto you. Right, and we still is entrapped by those guys today. You know, them guys are was a snare unto us. The most high said all them other nations that we he he told us to utterly destroy when he gave us the land of uh, Canaan. He told us to utterly destroy all them people and all they altars, but we kept them for tributary. Kind. Kept them as our slaves. We kept they uh altars and their idols for fucking, you know, treasures and shit, trophies. And it came to pass when the ain't when and it came to pass when the angel of the Lord spake these words unto all the children of Israel that the people lift up their voice and wept. And they called the name of that place Bochim, and they sanctified there unto the Lord. And when Joshua had let the people go, the children of Israel went every man unto his inheritance to possess the land. And the people served the Lord all the days of Joshua which uh, Joshua's real name is Yahweh Shah, 